So we got some news to go over. We're also going to be doing the free summons. So let us do that. Um, let's do the free accessory summon first and then we'll do the free multi. And then we're going to be covering the, the news. We did get some uh, pretty interesting information if I am reading it correctly. And well, that's a five star accessory. I'm not sure if it's new, but I'll take it. Okay, it looks like we're done. Yes! That is, that is amazing. That can go on Yamamoto now. That is definitely going to make Yamamoto stronger. I really needed that for the Thousand Year Blood Warrior Yamamoto. Okay. I did not expect that. That is amazing. That is, that, that is really nice to see. Um... Yeah, that, that, that was nice. Now, we got our free multi. Let us see what we get. Four star. Nothing from there. And let us go over the news. So, let me, let me switch over. I'm going to put this on some kind of background or something. And then I'm going to switch over to the... Eh, yeah, let's, let's just put this one up, I guess. There we go. Um, let's get it set up. We are going to be going to... Uh, the developer notes. Um, I'm going to be using Reddit for this. So... If you want to check this out for yourself go to the reddit that's a pretty good source of information um we got the developer notes so thank you for playing bleach brave souls this is the dev team brave souls has recently reached 80 million downloads worldwide thanks to everyone's support we are also celebrating the game's eighth anniversary last month we like to express our gratitude to all players okay well i'm gonna skip the generic platitude uh Okay, in addition, we are planning to add new characters and conduct campaigns in line with the TV animation series Thousand Year Blood War, The Separation. So I'm assuming that's Core 2. Members of the dev team will continue to work hard to ensure that everyone can enjoy the exciting world of Bleach in the TV animation series Thousand Year Blood War, The Separation, so we ask your patience as we prepare updates and campaigns. I don't think, because someone mentioned that they take six months six months to plan their banners and if they're gonna make the animated characters based on core 2 we're probably gonna be waiting six months i'm not sure if that's gonna be from when the the specific episode the characters are in first aired or at the end of core 2 which ends in september i don't think we're getting core 2 anime episodes that quickly because we have Maybe they can surprise me. Um, other people also thinking they're going to be doing a Thousand Year Blood War banner every month, every end of the month. I'm thinking that would be too much. Personally, I do remember what happened when they put gave us too many limited banners uh, back to back to back to back or a relatively short period of time. People got sick of it, people were getting burnt out, people were running out of orb sources, and then people started quitting the game. <laughs> um, or at the very least, taking breaks. Um, I'm not so sure that'll be a good idea, personally. I do think it should be at least every other month. With an exception around anniversary, because it's the anniversary. I'm thinking maybe end of October, end of November. Would probably be the best time to do another thousand year blower banner um talking about adding more ranks oh man well, how the hell did my nose gets all stuffed up all of a sudden anywho so we got the 
Following the last month's dev team comments, here is more information about adding player ranks above 50. For 50 rank or rank 51 and above, we plan to introduce a system in which players will increase by accumulating a certain amount of experience points. Table by players would participate in epic raids, co op quests, brave battles, and certain single player quests. We are currently aiming for the extra ranks to be added at some point in September. Um, there we go. Adding a battle power display. So this is something other games have added before. It's basically like a combination of all of your characters in your box and how their power. So along with the addition of new player ranks, we are planning to implement a new feature called battle power. The battle power is a feature that shows the total combined battle power of all your own characters. This number can also be viewed by other players. We are also planning to add new free orders. That can be achieved by reaching certain battle power numbers. We aim to add this new feature at some point in September. Sweet. So we have two updates for September. That is really good. As previously announced, we are planning on making improvements in Guild Quest. So these improvements are also scheduled for a September release. So yeah, that is basically the dev notes. That is uh, that is pretty good. And then we got some information thanks to Heekin. Um, Brave Selection is 5 and 10. These are the five characters. Um, I'm personally not going to summon on this banner, but some people might want to. Um, maybe I should do a sh should you summon on this video it's, or this banner at some point when they actually officially announce it. I probably will. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I'll, I'll wait and see. And then we got another one. Credits to he can end as well. The link to his uh, YouTube channel should be in the description box. So. If you want to go give him support, you can go there. Um, then we have the 80 million download celebration cycle summons, 9-4. So I'm assuming it's going to be the 4th of September. We have three characters for the, that are featured, and these are the filler down here. So I'm assuming that's the new uh, Quincy Ichigo, the remake. Um, Manor Orihime. I'm not sure which Rukia that is, like what seasonal banner it was or celebration for. I don't know what the heck, which one was specifically. I want to say New Year's, but I'm not 100% sure. And then all these characters down here, there's a lot of potion, super potion characters. Um, some are just potion characters, some are just super potion characters. Uh, some are potion, uh, I think, droplet characters in her case. So, yeah, there's like five of them down here. Um... That is honestly pretty good. Uh, this is actually a pretty good banner to summon on. I'm going to be real with you. Um, not for me personally because I own like this whole bottom row. I think the only characters I may be missing might be this Toshiro and these three characters. Or two characters. I have her. So yeah. Not really worth summoning for me. But if you don't have most of these characters. I can see going to step 5. Or maybe even step 10 depending on, uh, you know, how many orbs you have left. So that is obviously a pretty good uh, banner overall. And now let's go back to here. What was I going to say? There was something... There was something in game I wanted to showcase, but what was it? I cannot remember... <laughs> what it was uh overall though that's what we have upcoming for september oh yeah that's what it was never mind i remember so you know a lot of people they don't save their four stars you know you look at my total player amount i'm wondering how much of an impact those four star <laughs> characters are gonna play like let's take a look here um uh actually let's do it let's do it this way because and we can go four, three, two, one, and let's get rid of the five stars. Hey, one. As you can see, I keep my characters. I wonder how much or how little these characters will play a role in adding to the <laughs> battle power of my character box. Because if I go in and just like pretty much just uh, you know max you know do all the character trees 
get up to where they're all green like how many of this will or how many of these will uh let's think about it. i have there's tons of four stars probably not as many as are how not much of a power boost as you would think but who knows that would be kind of funny if <laughs> uh now people that want a higher battle power are actually going to have to save their four star characters that would be kind of funny i'm not gonna lie because a lot of people they would max their four star characters and then sell them max their four star characters and sell them so yeah i'm not sure if that's going to be the case maybe they change it i don't know but that's something to keep in mind if you care about that battle power that's eventually going to be added because uh basically what it would do is it would take the entirety of your character box from what i understand and give you like a number saying okay you have this many five stars you know this many five stars that are five out of five you know all this other stuff then you know you could just run into a situation where you're losing out on i don't know how how the power system is going to scale but it could be where you're missing out on a significant amount of you know your battle power so it doesn't really from my understanding it's just for show it's not going to really matter too much when it comes to uh you know actually impacting your account significantly let's see yep there we go and I'm going to try and roll this real quick on here. And then I am done. Because I want to equip it to... Uh, what do I want to give it? 30 defense, I'm, I'm assuming. Defense, 30. There we go. There we go. We got it in 67 rolls. And now, let's see how much my Yamamoto will increase. Like, okay, wait, what is it? What, are, what am I at power-wise right now? 33,236. So 33,236. Scroll down here a bit. And it's at 939 defense. Where are you? There we go. Oh, yeah, that went up quite a bit on the defense. Let's see. So we have one up an extra 1,300 in total power. Anywho, that's pretty much it. Let me know how you guys' summons went. Um, if you watched my video, you'll know my summons didn't go too well. But eh, it is what it is. It happens from time to time. Um, where you'll have a period of time where you're not going to have as good of luck. But anywho, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.